Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. Hey, this is Mike Renner. I'm Peter Lojak. We are the Odds Couple. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com, and the NBA playoffs are about to start, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, two opening series right now with wow. uh, Joe Gavazzi from JoeGavazziSports.com. The uh, the game one we're going to talk about right now is uh, is OKC in Houston, and of course, uh, we don't have a line for this one, but uh, we can speculate as to what we might expect. Now, uh, when these teams met in the regular season, uh, the games at Houston tended to be very high scoring, yes. went way over. In the games in OKC, though, were, 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 went way under and they were much more modest scoring what do we expect here uh maybe an x factor is the health of james harden i know that you know he's uh he's being rested to get his uh, wrist all uh, mm-hmm. all fixed and i think we can assume that he'll be 100 percent. but that yeah. is an assumption right absolutely there's another x factor too you mm-hmm. you're looking at the two guys going head to head for the mvp this year yes and you know that that plays a lot of dynamics into this i think the over will continue mm-hmm. in houston i like that trend but pete i think that's going to be a high number um this is going to be an interesting series i yeah. think we're we're really going to find out what both of these teams are made of and who has the potential to maybe challenge, uh, you know, in the West. Right. So with that being said, let's turn it over to yeah, Jumpin' I'm Joe I'm definitely going to have to uh, do start my uh, my in-depth research yeah. into this series uh, in a day or so. But Uh-oh. we can start right now with my in-depth That's research right. by listening to what Joe Gavazzi has to say. Can't What's your take wait. on this uh, series and the likely uh, game one result? Well, Houston did a good job against OKC this year, winning three of the four games, the last three straight games. And uh, they covered three of those four games as well. These teams head in opposite directions as they go into the playoffs, as Houston has failed to cover eight consecutive games as they made a key point of resting their players and preparing for this upcoming series against OKC. OKC, meanwhile, a lot of emotion coming down the stretch, trying to get uh, Russell those 42 triple-doubles and to uh, break into the record books shattering that Elgin Baylor mark since 1962. So I think OKC's put out a little more energy here this week. I also think that Houston will be very, very fired up to play against OKC and Russell Westbrook. Kind of make an analogy here to the Heisman Trophy winner. You know, Mm -hmm. these college bowls, when a team has a Heisman Trophy winner on it, he goes through a lot of media hoopla and kind of has a downer in that bowl game. Well, much could be the same here with Russell Westbrook, who, although he's played it down and has been modest in the media, I think still has made a tremendous accomplishment and may suffer a little bit of a letdown here in this first playoff game. Again, from a technical perspective, teams who have seven or more wins are in the anticipated price range of this game, which I make six to eight points, have been an outstanding 65% or more play over the years. I like the Houston Rockets in game one, laying the six to eight points over Oklahoma City. All right. What do you think about that, Mike Brenner? I think that was some good insight, good yeah. breakdown. And I think he might have nailed it on the head with Westbrook, even though he has played it down. Uh, you know, it's taken a lot out of him. I mean, when you're averaging, averaging a triple-double for the season, that's just freaking mm-hmm. amazing. But I think Houston's going to be a little bit more focused. These are two coaches I respect, two different styles of ball. All right. But it's going to be interesting. And I wouldn't be surprised if home court holds the edge here and uh, holds it well enough to cover. Because I also, like Joe was thinking to be between six to eight mm-hmm. points on the spread. All right. Joe Gavazzi's website is JoeGavazziSports.com. Tell us about that, Joe. It is JoeGavazziSports.com. We try to provide information up there for you each and every day, not only with selections, free winners, but also some interesting sporting news that you can use in terms of the articles I write and as well that money management article. Make sure you check it out at JoeGavazziSports.com. And I would be remiss if I didn't wish you guys good luck out there and hope to see you again on these videos next week. All right, sounds good, Joe. Talk to you very soon. Thanks, Joe. Always a pleasure. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.